Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna. I am a portrait photographer in the Chicagoland area. And today we took Ginger to the Elmhurst Umbrella Sky Project a little bit outside of the Chicagoland area. The Elmhurst Umbrella Sky Project, which was funded by the Elmhurst City Center and some additional sponsors, is going to be open through August. I originally wanted to do this photo shoot back on the opening weekend of April 29th, but that weekend, along with the following weekends, was raining and had really bad weather that I didn't feel comfortable bringing my flash out to, so this was the best weekend that we can do to have great weather and great photos. The equipment that I was using today was the Sony a7 III along with the 85mm lens. I then connected a transmitter on top of my camera to connect to the Godox 8200, which then is on a light stand and has a newer softbox. I also used a six stop ND filter because it was really bright and I wanted to incorporate some flash. When it comes to the edit of this image, what I mainly tried to focus on was doing it all in camera. Only because I was using off-camera flash, I wanted to go ahead and change the temperature of the background and the subject. The subject, I believe, came out a little bit too cold and the background became out a little bit too warm, which is normal because the flash has a cooler tint to it. So what you can do to adjust that is go into Lightroom and manually select both options to change the temperature, or you can go ahead and slap a filter on top of your flash. The next thing that you can do if you are in Photoshop and you really want to clone out some of the people in the background to make it less busy, you can go ahead and take the content aware fill and you can also clone stamp the subjects out. Or if you would like, you can go ahead and add a vignette so it focuses mainly more on the subject. One tip that I have for you, and I would highly recommend this for situations where you are in a really bright location, is to make sure that you put your subject in the shadows, especially when you're gonna be using off-camera flash. You wanna make sure that there are no hot spots on their face because the flash won't trigger as well if they are already bright enough. And what we had noticed is that Christopher was holding a reflector, so we used that as a way to cover Ginger's head and make sure that she was in the shadows so that way when we were hitting the flash onto her it actually illuminated her perfectly. Another tip that I have for you is to not go below 100 for your ISO because you don't want it to become grainy and don't go above 250 for your shutter speed unless you are doing high speed sync. For beginners, I would highly recommend just using a neutral density filter and then if your photos are still coming out too bright, to lower your shutter speed. If you are having very shaky and unstable hands or the pictures are coming out blurry, I would highly recommend using a tripod, but this is a really good start. I want to give a big thank you to Christopher who was my assistant for the day and Ginger who was the model. If you're interested in checking out their work, feel free to check the description box below. But that is the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you're interested in other YouTube videos just like this, I have a playlist created going over the behind the scenes on my photo shoots. So that will be listed up here as well as in the description box below. But that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.